Friends, we all have dreams and goals, but do we have what it takes to reach these dreams and goals? Do we know what is required to attain them? In today's episode, we will briefly touch upon a powerful science backed self help strategy. Hundreds of research studies have shown that it can increase your chances of achieving your goals by two to three times. And it has proven its efficacy across various spheres of life, study, work, health, relationships, etc. What we will talk about today is actually a potent combination of two behavior modification strategies. One, mental contrasting. Two, implementation intentions. First, let us start with mental contrasting. What is mental contrasting? Mental contrasting involves two activities. First, you imagine the rosy outcome with its fantastic benefits. Second, you see the reality in contrast to these tremendous advantages. What I mean by this is, you acknowledge the difficulties and big sacrifices involved in achieving the outcome. This is best understood with an example. Let's say you want to get into a top college of your dreams. You are in awe of its teaching, its sprawling campus, opportunities it provides like great job offers, admiration you will receive from family and friends if you get accepted, etc. We all have such dreams. Next, you think about the reality of achieving this dream, the long hours of study it takes, the sacrifices you need to make in your student social life, obstacles you will face in your pursuit of this goal and so on. These challenges and obstacles can potentially kill your motivation to achieve your goal. Many among us may even give up on the goal. However, this acceptance of reality can also put you in a better position than someone who is just thinking about the positives alone. It can help you come up with a realistic and workable plan to achieve your goal. This is where the second strategy named implementation intentions comes into picture. Implementation intentions involve coming up with an if-then plan of action. It takes the form of, if I am in situation X, I'll do Y. Or if I face an obstacle X, I'll do Y. So for your situation wherein you have to work hard for admission to your desired college, you can come up with plans like, every weekday when I finish my dinner, I will immediately sit down to study two hours. Whenever I sit down to study, I will put my phone in airplane mode and place the same in the closet. Implementation intentions are most effective when you add as much detail of the activity as you can, like the date, time and location. This is a good example of the same. After I finish my classes in the afternoon after 4 p.m., I will complete my home assignments in the college library. Before I have my breakfast in the morning at 7 a.m., I will meditate for 5 minutes in the study room. As I said earlier, numerous research studies have proved this. Implementation intentions like the ones we saw can double or even triple your chances of succeeding at your goal. One study of 248 people trying to improve their exercise habits was divided into two groups of comparable size. The members of both groups were asked to exercise three times a week. The second group additionally was asked to prepare a simple plan by filling this sentence. During the next week, I will engage in at least 20 minutes of intense exercise on this day, at this time, in this location. The results of the study was conclusive. Only about 35 to 38 percent of the members of the first group exercised during the week. In contrast, nearly 91 percent of the second group members managed to keep their commitment to exercise. Such is the power of implementation intentions. So do give a try at the two science back self-help strategies, mental contrasting and implementation intentions. Utilize them to plan and achieve your goals. And let me know how it goes in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.